Living in York, we've all seen the devastating effects that flooding can have on lives and property. But have you ever wondered how it affects our soils? Earthworms are essential for soil health. Some species live in horizontal burrows, increasing the sponginess of the soil and the amount of water it can hold. Others live on the surface, turning plant matter into soil. And others still live in deep vertical burrows, stirring the soil and bringing nutrients from the surface to deeper down. Now I've got a quick question for you. When's the last time you saw an earthworm? Unless you're a gardener, or a fisherman, or perhaps a PhD student with quite a niche interest, it was probably on the ground after the last time that it rained. I strongly believe this is one of our first experiences connecting with nature as kids. It's one of our first why questions. Why do they do that? And I don't know about you, but the answer that I used to get was that they were escaping drowning because the soil was flooded. Earthworms breathe through their skin. So as long as there's enough oxygen dissolved in the water, they're quite happy. The problem for them when soil floods is that bacteria use up the oxygen very quickly. The oxygen goes down, so the earthworms come up to the surface to breathe. Except, well, you knew that was coming. In a series of sometimes slightly bizarre experiments, involving buckets of soil or worms in tubes, I found that some species endure flooding better than others. In fact, I was amazed to find that one species didn't die at all. Instead, they curled up, and they seemed to enter a state of what basically amounted to suspended animation. And when I dug into field populations, I found that areas that regularly flood were almost entirely dominated by this one species, and as a result, had very low biodiversity. Beautifully shot nature documentaries have been telling us for years about the importance of biodiversity, and earthworms are no different, although not very photogenic. Darwin thought of them as nature's plough. Nowadays, we call them ecosystem engineers. But the point is that all of these different earthworm species live in different parts of the soil, and together, they play important roles in turning it over. Now, in the UK, flooding is increasing, and it's only going to get worse. And this may mean that in some areas, we start to lose not just earthworm biodiversity, but some of the essential cogs in our soil turnover machine. With my work, with collaboration and with computer modeling, I'm contributing to a wide pool of knowledge already used by farmers and land managers to build resilient earthworm populations. But if you take nothing else from this, remember that efforts to control and mitigate against the effect of flooding can't just protect our towns and cities and the people in them, but must also protect our soils, our fields, and the creatures essential for soil health and food production. So next time you see an earthworm on the path, do me a favor and rescue it. Thank you.